All right. Well, uh, speaking of uh, cars where they use 3D printers to make some auto parts, 3D printing is transforming the world in so many ways. And this morning, we're checking in with the Michigan Science Center, which offers daily Echo Live distance learning science experiments. Now, we've had uh, Anna Sterner on before. She is with the Michigan Science Center with uh, their Facebook Live programs. Anna, thank you so much for joining us again this morning. Tell us a little bit about uh, some of the things you and some of the other uh, science educators are doing with 3D printing. Yeah, so today we are talking about 3D modeling and scale modeling on Echo Live. We want to teach kids the basics of what a 3D printer can do because it really is one of those uh, newly emerging fields and 3D printers are really revolutionizing engineering and it's a really easy thing to do. Um, the 3D printer right now is making a really simple little mold for us. Um, it's actually making a small spinning top and the way a 3D printer works is it takes that model you create in an online program and it prints it in layers and so there's basically hot melted plastic plastic coming out of the nozzle here on the end and mm -hmm. it's just forming it layer by layer by layer and then you can actually make some really cool interesting little toys like our small spinning tops here. So we use these in engineering we can actually print car parts, prosthetics, um, all sorts of amazing things but we can start learning this at a very very young age which is what we're trying to teach on Echo Live this afternoon. Now, it used to take months, uh, weeks or months to go from design to production. But with 3D printing, obviously, you can print things a lot faster because you don't have to print them in metal. You can actually sort of get these uh, models in your hands pretty quickly. Yeah, it can take you just a couple hours to come up with a model and have it ready to go right to your printer in just a USB uh, memory card. And you know, what are some of the things that kids will learn from this? I mean, you're going to do this on Echo Live. You're going to show kids how this is how this is done, but there are going to be some takeaways here. Tell us a little bit about what you want the kids to remember, not just today about the tops, but just in general about uh, 3D printing and how that's changing the way we're thinking about uh, science. Yeah, so the premise today is really just taking any idea for some sort of invention or object you have in your mind and being able to put it into a computer program. It's a really important skill, that kind of 3D thinking and how you can take any idea you have because everyone can be inventive and creative. And using things like 3D printers, we can really easily and inexpensively turn that into a physical object that you can hold. And uh, obviously you have to do some uh, work on a computer beforehand to come up with the design. Is that design are a challenge? The pre 3D printing looks you know, pretty manageable, but is that design, is that, is that difficult to do to design the tops that you have there? Not at all. I think kids are getting more and more skilled with computers and video games, and there are all sorts of free online programs that work very similarly to Minecraft or other video games that kids already play. And engineers have done an amazing job at making that process easy for kids to try to. Yeah, and so I guess they can use some of those programs, put it on a flash drive, as you said, and then find a 3D printer. I actually saw one at a place that um, sells the ink for, uh, for, uh, for printers at home, like regular printers, they actually have a 3D printer uh, there at the ink stop. Yeah, I think local libraries actually have them too as well right now. 3D printers are really inexpensive and they're popping up everywhere now. All right, and tell us a little bit about what you guys have planned for uh, the summer. We, we know that uh, a lot of parents are still, you know, juggling their summer plans, trying to figure out what to do with the kids. What are you guys doing this summer? Are you guys hosting any virtual camps you can tell us about? We are, so if people have been tuning into Echo Live and enjoying, virtual camps is going to be a great thing for you. We have our educators on hand, ready to teach lessons and activities and experiments over Zoom. And then kids will actually get to try experiments on their own throughout the day at home, come back at the end of the day to do kind of a share out. And it's going to be a lot of fun. We'll actually be teaching people how to do things we've done on Echo Live and some new experiments as well. All right, so the kids will be entertained and, you know, sneak in a little knowledge there with the Michigan Science Center. All right, thank you so much. Anna Sterner, really appreciate it. An educator with the Michigan Science Center. Uh, we'll see you next week.